Welcome everyone. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Let's um, get started. This is a, a chair yoga session. We're going to uh, move a bit faster than the last time I was teaching, but um, it's a nice, going to be a nice energizing, energizing class. So just make sure that you uh, have your hands on your knees and take a moment here to sit upright so that you are really connecting with your body Relax shoulders and open chest. Maybe let the chin come in a little bit so you can move the head back a little. So we're gonna, gonna dive straight into this practice. And let's just start with making circles for the neck. Eh? We're going to open up the neck. Maybe you've been holding your head in a certain angle for a couple of hours or maybe even longer. So we're going to mix or create some space by breathing in when you go up and breathing out when you go down. So just nice big circles and just notice what's going on. So you maybe feel some tension eh? somewhere in the neck and you can just hold your head in a certain angle, relax your shoulders, breathe into that area. And let's see whether we can find a nice breath through the nose, in and out, where you maybe can find a nice balance by breathing in as many counts as you breathe out. So you can count till three or four. Let's go to the other side and practice it. So one, two, three, four, and two, three, four. Maybe you can even do it one, two, three. And I also noted I'm just going a little bit faster. So you just play with it along the way. There's no fixed amount of counts. You maybe don't even want to count. Eh? You just want to move intuitively. Just a couple more rounds here so you can really get into it. Coming back to the middle and on an inhale, take your shoulders up to the ears, back and down, breathe in and out. And you maybe are, want, are going to move a little bit faster than you breathe and that's fine as well. Because we want to make it a more vigorous, a more active practice today. So let's go to the front, back and down. So back up to the front and down, making big circles and your hands are just sliding over your legs. All right, one more time to the back. This could be very expressive here. All right, if you come a little bit further forward, you can interlace your fingers behind your back. And just open your chest, interlace your fingers, maybe the palms can come together. And you can just come forward, bending forward, maybe place your feet a bit wider, come onto the edge of the chair, take your hands behind you over your head, maybe with your palms together, maybe not, uh, depending on what feels good. You move a little bit from the left to the right with your arms. It's like bringing one shoulder to the right knee and the other one. All right. On an inhale, take your hands up again. And on an exhale, we're going to open up the chest by just bringing the elbows out. Inhale, take your hands up. And exhale. Just use that breath with you. Breathing in. Look past your thumbs, pull your navel in, and exhale, open up your chest. Breathe in, and exhale. Let's do it three more times. Breathing in, exhale, breathing in, exhale. Last time, breathe in, open up your chest, bring your elbows out, take your arms to the sides, bring your hands towards your shoulders, I'm gonna come a little bit further forward even, and we're going to move from the left to the right. Let's do it by breathing into the right side, exhale to the left, and we'll switch sides at one point, I'll tell you. So inhale to the left, or to the right, excuse. Exhale to the left, inhale to the right, exhale to the left. So keep on moving and just notice how your spine is twisting 
coming from the lower back. Inhale from the right, exhale to the left. Looking over the shoulders, just follow your elbows. All right, just slowly come back to the middle. Let's just shake the legs or the arms out. You can just interlace those fingers, eh? press the palms out for a moment. Take those arms up, stretch yourself out, left and right. We're gonna do the other side in a second, but this is just an inter in between movements. Drop your shoulders away from the ears. Eh? Can you see that I can hold my shoulders really high? If you try to drop them, open up your chest a little bit further. Palms pressed up to the ceiling. Slowly take your hands down, shake them out. On an inhale, take your hands to the sides. Exhale, take your hands towards your shoulders. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So you inhale through the left, exhale to the right. So. so you can really hear yourself breathing. It's a bit of an audible breath. Left in, right out. So how far can you look over your shoulders to follow your elbow? Just a little bit longer. Just keep your feet flat on the floor. Last couple of times. All right. Just make big circles here. Ah, just shake your hands out again. So let's bring our right hand to the left side of your neck. And we're just going to, with the fingertips, grab hold of the neck muscle, just next to the spine, eh? next to your vertebrae, and just start to massage it. Maybe your fingers can slide along that muscle and your trapezius trapezius and you can just grab or hold on to it squeeze it maybe with your fingertips again you can just hook into that muscle and start to move back and forth a couple of times you can even let your left arm drop down and let your head go to the right side a little bit eh? just to give it a bit more stress a bit more tension and while i'm taking a little bit of time because this is really an area that gets affected a lot by office work. So without knowing, we often pull the shoulders up and sit more cramped up. So just to give ourselves a little bit of time to allow the body to relax a little bit further. All right, I think that's enough for now. You can repeat it even longer after this class, but let's go to the shoulder and you can just with your hands, especially maybe with your thumb to start with, and massage into the deltoid muscle, but also with your fingertips on the outside or the back of that shoulder. So you grab hold of the whole deltoid surrounding that shoulder. And then go down, maybe with your fingertips, massage the triceps. I always like to make a bit of a movement with my hands. And then in the meantime, press my fingers into that muscle. So it's like hooking and sliding. All right, and maybe just holding onto the biceps, eh? massaging it. Now let's see whether we can keep our focus with our breath as well. So you wanna keep it nice and long in and exhale whilst doing this to yourself. And if we arrive around the elbow, eh, can you just find any areas that feel a little bit more tense, a bit more sensitive. I can massage with my thumb on the inside, just above the elbow. On the inside with my thumb, I can just press from the elbow and slide up towards the middle of my bicep, or maybe with my fingertips on the outside, and then slowly go to the part underneath the elbow joint. Eh? Also here, this got these, these three on the big thumb side, these big, muscles it's like these tendons going towards your thumb the ones that you use a lot to work on the computer 
Also, they need a little bit more attention here. So you can just place or press your fingers inside and then start to move the left hand. It's like they call this supination. It's like eating a soup. Eh? You also make a certain movement like this. So that's how you can remember it. So just keep on rolling. It's really good to do this because we often just do the longer or the bigger movements, but these are the small muscles that get affected a lot. So just keep on moving. And maybe you can just squeeze again with your thumb. And you can just rest your arm here, massage it. Maybe if you turn your palm down, you can massage on the back of your lower arm, your forearm, coming towards the wrist, any kind of movement that it needs. Eh? Also even like holding onto the wrist and just moving the left hand is like sliding. And when you slide with your thumb from the wrist on the palm side, on the inside, all the way to your finger and you can press the finger back Feel that stretch, breathe into it. Maybe even hold on to the finger and just pull it. And then get again with the thumb, starting at the base of your hand, the palm sliding up, maybe a couple of times. And then when you reach the base of your finger, you just slowly press and slide. And then maybe hold on to it and just squeeze, pull. And again with the thumb, the middle finger sliding up maybe do it a couple of times and when you start at the ball of the base of the finger you just press against it feel that stretch the finger can really take a lot eh? and if it's really sensitive then you just do it a little bit less intense so you are the boss of your own movement your own body so i can say a lot but you just follow your own intuition all right Shake it out. Take your left hand. It's now warm. You can take it towards your right side of your neck. And again here, just from maybe the base of your skull, you can pull or drag those fingers down yeah, so that the blood circulation gets going. Any kind of acids, any kind of toxins that maybe are stored there. Yeah, the body is very capable of digesting all these toxins, otherwise we would be very sick. But you can still help your body to get rid of any, any kind of stuff that shouldn't be there. And with the fingertips, hook into that trapezius. Going back and forth. Find your breath. Explore, maybe hold on and squeeze if you can get there. Sometimes it's just nice to support your, in this case, left elbow with your right hand. But you don't want to do it too aggressively because then the muscle tenses up too much. All right, let's go down. Let's go to that shoulder. Hold on to it. So depending on how you like it, you can let your hand rest on your knee. You can just let it rest next to your body. Now also here you can just hook your thumbs or your fingertips in and then make this movement. So out, out. So when I roll out, I press my fingers in it a bit more. And all kinds of, maybe you suddenly discover a new technique, something that works for you. So just follow up on it. Go to the biceps. What is nice here? <sighs> to the triceps as well. Maybe if you want to sigh out because it just suddenly the body tells you to and you just follow up on it. All right, slowly coming down and maybe just working your way around that elbow joint with the fingertips or maybe with the thumb on the inside. And I'm just, just above that elbow joint. And I can just press up slight over the more ten tender muscles here on the inside. Eh? Everything on the outside, the legs, the outside of the arms, the back is harder there to protect you. And the insides are the more vulnerable parts of your body. So be careful that you also know 
how much pressure to give on areas that feel a bit more tender. All right, slowly I'm starting to, uh, with the fingertips, grabbing those muscles on the thumb sides, the radius, yeah, that's a bone underneath it. So there's two bones, the radius, and then on the pinky side, the ulna. And you can just find the space in between. Maybe that's a nice area to massage. Just placing the hands on the other leg and maybe just slide that thumb in between those two bones. All right, slowly coming down. And again, if you want to do this more or longer, you can just do this after the class is finished. So now we're just trying to give you something that helps you to energize yourself again, to let everything flow. All right. Now we've done the wrists and we want to go for the hands, for the palm. So with the left thumb from the base of the hand palm, you just slide up maybe a couple of times and then press that pinky all the way out. Feel that stress all the way to the tip of your pink. And again, go to the ring finger, do the same thing. Then to the middle finger. Then to the index finger. And I have a, I've totally forgotten about just holding on to the pinky in this case, or the ring finger, the middle finger, just individually, just grab hold of them, pull them, stretch them, twist them. All right, one more time, you can just interlace those fingers, press them out, inhale, take your hands up. And we're gonna do this movement with our breath. So you're going to inhale and exhale. Just to open up the shoulders a bit more. Now, this is something that you can do faster if you want. So you can follow me and go faster, or you just do this tempo. So, so decide for yourself what feels like the best tempo for you. Just go further, just break some barriers here. You can do this, just keep on smiling. Almost there, five, four, three, two, one. And just slowly take your hands from the outside down, shake your hands out. All right, so we can use this chair also for some more vigorous movements eh, by just using it to rest our hands on. But let's try to start with a couple of cow and cat movements. So you place your hands on the chair. I have my knees slightly bent and on an inhale on my fingertips, I look forward and on an exhale, pull the navel in, round to the spine, chin to the chest, feel that stress. Maybe on an inhale, you bend your knees slightly again, look forward and exhale. So this is a tempo that you can do. And you can do it a little bit faster. but use your breath, feel and listen to it. And now we're going to integrate our legs. We're going to push the right leg out. Inhale, open up the chest in the meantime. And on the next exhale, bring that knee towards the chest, round the spine. Maybe you can touch your chin with your knee or your nose, inhale. And open up, push back, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's do this faster. Breathe in. Keep on breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Maybe you can place your foot on the chair. And you can just lean into it. Uh, maybe I have to step back a little bit. I hope your chair does not have any wheels. So maybe you don't have to go this deep, but just notice how nice it is to use the chair to stretch the front side of our left leg in this case, and to lean into the right hip. Maybe we can just 
stop bouncing and just breathe into that stretch. Stretch, I mean. <sighs> All right. So let's go to the other side. So I'm just going to pull my chair a little bit towards this side so that I have more space on the other side. And first of all, just make sure that you are standing like hip width, that you open up your chest, come onto the fingertips or maybe the, the balls of your hands where your fingers start. Now on an inhale, take that left leg back, open up your chest. I keep my right knee slightly bent. And exhale. Breathe in. Look forward, open up your chest. Exhale. It's even more difficult if you do it slow. So I want to try to do it a bit more fast. I want to invite you to follow me. So it's breathing in, press back or shoot back. Exhale. In, out, in, out. Just keep on moving. For five, three, four, three, two, one. And slowly take that left foot forward. Lean into it. Maybe you step your right foot a little bit further back. And the back heel can come off the floor. You don't have to keep that foot on the floor. But just lean into it. You push your hips forward, open up just a little bit deeper, feel that stretch, breathe into it one more time. All right, now slowly come back. And let's just come to a forward roll. I'm going to come back to the middle, it was a bit more balanced if I see myself on the camera and just rolling forward. Maybe you can already touch your hands or place your hands on the floor. You can breathe and come onto the fingertips. Exhale. And maybe we can stay here and we can just move from the left to the right. Just making very simple and small movements here. And with your hands, you're just caressing the floor. It's just like playing with your hands into the sand. Maybe go through imaginary water. Slowly a little bit deeper. Maybe you can hold on to your feet. Breathe in, open up your chest. Exhale, maybe hold on to the big toes with your peace fingers and your thumb on the front. Stay here for a moment. Just notice that stress on the back of your legs. Can you relax your neck, your jaws, your lips, your tongue? A little bit deeper. Listening to the sound of your breath. Slowly, whilst bringing the hands towards your knees, the chin to the chest, gently come up. And the last couple of movements here that we're going to do to finish this class is to open up the hips and take the right knee, wrap your hands around, start to circle it inside out and outside in. We do this more often and it's just a really nice stretch. Pull that knee towards your chest. Sit upright with the left hand, bring it towards the right knee. Now with your hands onto the knee and the, and the foot, we're just going to inhale and exhale, come a little bit further forward. You feel that it's intensifying and then inhale, you come up again and exhale, slowly come forward. Where do you feel it? Are you taking care of your body by not forcing it into this pose because it should not hurt? I mean, a little sensation of tension that is building up, that's all right. But to force yourself into something that doesn't feel good. Let's see whether we can just rest here for a moment. Now close your eyes, relax your face. Notice the sound of your breath once more. 
And also notice how you can slowly, millimeter by millimeter, dive deeper into this pose. Now just become aware of the thoughts you're having besides that you're becoming aware of it, you don't have to do that much more. So just observe what is alive inside of you right now, what is coming up, what is asking your attention. Can you breathe your way through that without any judgment? Just being okay with whatever comes up, no matter how annoying or how beautiful without getting attached. Slowly come back up, help yourself. I take that leg down and let's just shake it out. All right, let's go with the left side. So just taking that knee up and make a couple of circles here, but try not to do it too fast. If I'm making circles, I really feel what's going on in the hip. There might not be that much going on, but just saying, if I feel that there's some tension here, I might have to move a bit slower, a bit more mindful. Just a couple of times, eh? inside out, outside in. Let's pull that knee up, sit up straight, knee close to the chest or armpit, whatever feels good. Place the right hand or the, the left foot with your right hand onto the right knee. Coming like a reading the newspaper kind of idea, right? Inhale, opening up. And on an exhale, bending a little bit forward. You already start to feel it. Breathe in. And out. Relax your neck as well. Slowly coming up again. And then place your hands or arms on that leg. And just relax. So first coming into the pose, then catch your breath, catch your breath again. For the last couple of breaths, just with every exhale, maybe a little bit deeper. Just listen to the sound of your breath once more. Relax your neck a little bit further. You might hear some cracks. Last breath here. Maybe on your exhale, you come to the deepest forward bend, just a little bit further, a couple of millimeters. Slowly coming up, shaking those legs out once more. Maybe you can cycle a little bit just to activate your core so that you can get through the rest of the day for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, you can do this guys, keep on cycling. Four, three, two, one. Inhale deep through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Close your eyes. Take a couple more breaths here. All right, thank you very much. Take care and I'll see you next time. Namaste.